Welcome to another episode of Lifestyles. I'm your executive show producer, Craig Sewing. We have put together an awesome show exploring America's finest city with you today. You're going to see what's happening in Del Sur as we hop on a hiking trail. We're also going into Point Loma with the number one realtor as far as production goes, Melissa Tucci, and to East County. So we're covering all of San Diego, and we're doing it with our co-hosts, Molly and Tawny. We've got a great show lined up for you. Don't forget you can engage in the conversation online as well. But let's go ahead and start Lifestyles right now. Today I've strapped on my Nikes and I'm out here with North County real estate expert Ann Triber learning all about the wonderful things you can do outdoors in North County and about the wonderful new homes being built right here. Ann, thank you so much for having me out here today. My pleasure, Molly. So we are in your backyard on the hiking trails of Del Sur. Yes. Is there a certain name for this trail or? So this beautiful hilltop with these amazing views is part of the Lusardi Creek Preserve, which is adjacent to Black Mountain Open Space Preserve. Oh my gosh, well it's beautiful out here and I think the top of this mountain really gives us a good like panoramic view of what's happening in this community. Yes. So let's talk about it. Let's start right in front of us. Okay. And let's work our way around in the circle what's happening out here. Okay, so directly across from us is gorgeous Black Mountain. And uh, there's m multiple communities that are that sit just adjacent to Black Mountain. The Estates, which is uh, one of the luxury gated parts of Del Sur. Uh, so huge estate style homes, large lots, gorgeous community. There's also Cal Atlantic's new collection with Corzano, Toscana and Castillo over there. And that's, that's why they're cutting into the hill? Yes, exactly. And that's all part of Oak Valley Middle School. And then as you wrap around, it's kind of hard to see Forest Ranch, which is enormous because we're up a little bit higher. But as we wrap around from this perspective, you're going to see mostly Del Sur all the way around. And then we're going to catch some hilltop views of Cielo, which is a gorgeous part of Rancho Santa Fe. And then as we wrap back around in this direction is another uh, gated luxury part of Del Sur known as Artesian Ridge. And then the preserve is right behind us. I think it's stunning up here. I wasn't aware of how many homes there were in this area. There's a, there's a lot of different choices if you want to live in this beautiful part of North County. I think it's wonderful and there's like a huge road that loops all the way through. Yeah, so you know, a great part of living in this in this area is just how much you can do outside. Not just on a hiking trail like we have here, but there's a ton of triathletes that live in the area and cyclists and runners and all kinds of, of athletes. And there's a loop that runs from Camino del Sur, so this road that goes all the way around over by Black Mountain, that turns into Carmel Valley Road that wraps all the way back around to Forest Ranch. It's about 11 to 12 mile loop and a lot of people use that for their training runs. Well, I think it's great. It kind of puts us right back to where we are. So I'm hearing a little bit of construction noise behind us. What is happening over here? So this, we're all very excited in the neighborhood about what's coming over here on Artesian Ridge. It used to be called Gables Crossing. It's a luxury part of Del Sur gated, really big lots, large homes, 3,500 to 4,500 square feet. They all have solar, many of them have pools, and you can see these incredible views. They're really tucked out into the canyon out here. So there's gonna be a total of roughly, don't quote me on this, <laughs> roughly, uh, I would say around 30 lots. You can see a couple of them right here. There's a bunch over closer oh, to really. Artesian Road. And then wrapping around behind me on the other side of this hill, is going to be another section of Artesian Ridge that has 12 lots that really kind of fan around a cul-de-sac right above Lusardi Creek. So let's talk about the trail we're on today. Yes. Kind of the activity features that are going on in this area. So this is Lusardi Creek Preserve, one of the many hiking trails around the area. We've got Black Mountain Open Space Preserve, uh, just a, probably a 10 minute drive is Los Penasquitos Canyon Preserve. Uh, this is just where everyone comes to walk their dogs, walk their kids, get them all tired. And just really, you know, I can walk here from my home in Del Sur in 10 minutes. And oh, I can wow. drive here, well, I mean, you came with me yeah. in two minutes. It was really, really close and it's crazy that, you know, all the hubbub happening over here. So we have the big Target shopping center that we just recently went to. Yes. But this all feels like the country out here. Yeah, doesn't it? I think it's amazing. It's really, it's really beautiful. And this used to all be open space. 
Um, and you can still hike through the canyon here back over towards the estates and towards Black Mountain, kind of on the hills alongside of Santa Luz. So you can really, especially if you're like a lot of the people who mountain bike in the area, they piece together all these trails and you can be out here for hours. I think it's wonderful. I think one of the things that's amazing about these communities being built is that they're not actually touch, I mean, they're, they're actually emphasizing on all the wilderness out here. Yes. Instead of like destroying it. Yes, so they have kept uh, a certain section of all of these areas open for everyone's enjoyment. Well, I love it. So I'm, I'm out in the real estate market all the time. Yes. As you are. Yes. Being an expert in this area. What's going on in the market in San Diego? Still super hot? Yes, this is an extremely competitive market. And we're seeing some interesting things right now, especially on the listing side. Um, I'm really noticing that the highly skilled, tons of experience, highly trained agents and agent teams are the ones that are putting deals together. And the more discount driven, kind of deal at any cost, high, high, high volume, uh, they're not, I'm not seeing them able to put as many deals together. And I think a lot of it is just that, you know, client driven philosophy that our group has and other kind of high performing groups that are really client focused uh, because it, it's a lot of energy to put deals together right now, especially on the buy side. Okay, so what makes a good buyer's agent out there? That is a fantastic question. <laughs> um, I would say someone that is hyper focused on you as the client. So if, if you go to meet an agent and all they're talking about is, do you want to buy this house? Do you want to buy this house? And they've never sat down and talked with you and had a full consultation and asked you about your life and who's in it and where you're going in your life. and where you spend your time and what you're looking for, not just in your home, but in your, your full lifestyle. Uh, because that's an extremely important part of making a decision about where you want to live. You know, there's certain people where they really want to be a part of a very tight-knit community, and so that's going to drive your decision-making for what communities you take them to. Um, in addition, I would just say that during the entire time that you're dealing with this person, you need to have the feeling that they've got your back. There has to be trust. If, if there's any reserve about trust, you're gonna find yourself making decisions you shouldn't make. Okay. So trust is absolutely paramount in any real estate transaction, um, but I think especially with buyers in this market, and I think that an agent who is going to be able to say to you, it's got this, this, and this, but you told me this was a priority, so I'm thinking we might wanna pass on this home. I think it's great, and I think this area is great. I mean, I could go on a list of things I think are great about you, <laughs> but for lack of time, thank you so much for having us out here today. Thank you so much, Molly, you on this breezy you. day. I love it, I love it. Thank you again, Anne. You're welcome. Being introduced to these wonderful hiking trails in the community of Del Sur Forest Ranch and Santa Luz, I can only thank you, Ann Shriver, North County real estate expert, for inviting me out to your community today. certain times in life when you need a neutral third party to call the shots. Keep it fair. Choose Oakwood Escrow. As a real estate professional, there are only so many hours of the day, which means efficiency is more than a buzzword. It's a daily necessity. Two tools from First American Title can help you keep on top of your transactions, either at your desktop or on the go. MyFirstAM puts comprehensive property data at your fingertips, where you can review recorded documents, past transactions, or locate comparable sales quickly and easily. CostFirst can also ensure you have 24-7 access to closing costs data, allowing you to generate net sheets, calculate fees, update documents, or email, print, or save your reports, along with TRID calculation and consummation date timeframes. Each sale includes a number of stages to manage, each with the possibility to delay a closing or derail it altogether. Let Cost First and My First Dam keep your transactions on track. Contact your local First American representative to get started today.
From hiking trails to meat markets, we're going to East County. Molly's gonna take us out to visit with Lyle and Grace Cadell, top producing realtors as we explore the East County market. Let's go check it out. Hey everybody, Molly O'Dell here, and I have something amazing to share with you today. We're gonna learn all about East County's hidden gem of a meat market and their real estate market. So make sure you stay tuned. I'm so excited to be in East County today with some of my friends, Grace and Lyle from Realty Executives All Area. How are you guys doing? Great, thank, thank you. Great, thanks, thanks for having us. Good, so we're in East County today. How's the market going out here? We're off to a really good start. Our listings are getting a lot of activity, a lot of uh, inquiries over the internet, uh, text messages, and voicemails. It's keeping us pretty busy right now. I'll let Lyle tell you a little bit more about the listings that we have. We have some fabulous new homes that are coming on the market here at, in East County at 3384 Ashley Park, this phenomenal five bedroom, eight bathroom, 8,000 square feet, has its own indoor basketball court. Oh my gosh, I uh, It's it absolutely phenom <laughs> phenomenal. This was uh, built by a baseball player from the Dodgers. This phenomenal property is coming available here soon. And another one at 3334 Wentworth Way. Great single level home, 3,500 square feet, high ceilings. This home is absolutely phenomenal and it's gonna be coming on here the next day. So everybody, we get, get a chance to take a look at this fabulous new listing we got. Sounds like 2017 is off to a great start from you guys, so I'm sure those are not going to stay on the market for long. Oh no, no way. These are going to gonna go real quick. So come out and take a look at these great new listings we got. That sounds amazing. Okay, so your, your listings sound great, the market sounds like it's doing good, but we're in a different kind of market here today. So where are we? We're at the best market. The best this one. is Valley Farms Market, and I am definitely a food connoisseur, <laughs> so I have to tell you guys, if you want the right meat, you want the right kind of treatment when you come into a store to get your food. Valley Farms Market right here in La Mesa, right here in East County. I've been going here for years and I have to tell you, this is definitely something you have to try. Well, I heard that we're gonna go talk to the owners in the back. So let's head back there and let's go check out what's happening. Let's do it. Sounds good. All right, so Lyle with Realty Executives, we were just talking about the real estate market, but now we're at a different kind of market, the meat market. Tell me what's going on back here. Oh my gosh, this meat market is definitely the fabulous place to go, Molly. Not only do they have the best meats I've had in town, but they also have some of the best seafood you're gonna have. From the carne asada to the best steaks you're gonna have. From the kashi meat, or what was the meat, Derek? The akaushi. Akaushi meat, you gotta try it. It's at a different level, Molly. This meat is the best. Their pokey, you gotta try their pokey, is absolutely phenomenal. 
Oh, well, it sounds great and it smells great. So Derek, you're one of the owners of this place, right? Yeah, correct. I've, uh, I'm a third generation owner. Um, we started in 1956, my grandpa, then my uncle Jim, my aunt Donna, my dad Don had it, and then now me. And you guys just celebrated your 60th, 60th year? 60th anniversary, we just had it this year, our 60th anniversary. That's amazing. So tell me a little bit about how this place is, how it's a staple in the community, things like that. Well, we really try to give back to the community. We really try to be as in the community as we can, and we like to talk to all of our customers and know what they're doing, um, go you know, to different events. We throw charity events. Um, we have stuff in the parking lot, and we donate back to the you know, Spring Valley uh, Historical Society. You know, we just really try to stay in the community as much as we can. Well, it's amazing. And so I see everybody in the back, and they're tending to the meat. What are they doing? Everyone's got a job to do. You okay. know, everyone's, we, we, we get it in, we got to cut it up and put it out, make big pieces into small pieces to for the consumer to take home. Well, that's amazing. And Lyle, you were telling me about a couple of your things. What are your favorite things at this market? Oh my gosh. I think I could fill up a lot more room <laughs> than what we're talking about now, but I'll tell you, their carne asada, the imperial meat, is absolutely the most amazing carne asada you will ever eat. And believe me, I've checked almost every meat market in this <laughs> county. I went from one to this one and I can't stop. My wife and I shop here once or twice a week. Oh my gosh. Not only the carne asada, but the steaks are phenomenal. Their salmon is just probably the best I've eaten. I don't know where they get their meats and their and things, but I'll tell you what, it's the cleanest, best, and the cleanest store you're gonna be in. And it's just an old place here. It's been here a long time. But I'll tell you, that's what I love about it. I feel like I'm walking into a family-oriented business that I wanna support. And I wanna welcome anybody in East County or anybody in San Diego to come taste test what they have here at this meat market. That's absolutely amazing. Well, Derek, thank you so much for having us here today. I think there's so many options back here that I'm gonna have to take a couple things home. Yeah, thank you for having us and uh, we're, we're honored. Appreciate well, it. Thank you so much and thank you, Lyle, for having us out today. Welcome. As you can tell, this hidden gym right here in East County truly is a staple in the community. Thank you so much to Lyle and Grace at Realty Executives All Area for having us out here today. I just had the best pokey, so I'm gonna go eat some more. certain times in life when you need a neutral third party to call the shots. Keep it fair. Choose Oakwood Escrow. As a real estate professional, there are only so many hours of the day, which means efficiency is more than a buzzword. It's a daily necessity. Two tools from First American Title can help you keep on top of your transactions, either at your desktop or on the go. MyFirstAM puts comprehensive property data at your fingertips, where you can review recorded documents, past transactions, or locate comparable sales quickly and easily. CostFirst can also ensure you have 24-7 access to closing cost data, allowing you to generate net sheets, calculate fees, update documents, or email, print, or save your reports, along with TRID calculation and consummation date timeframes. Each sale includes a number of stages to manage, each with the possibility to delay a closing or derail it altogether. Let Cost First and My First Dam keep your transactions on track. Contact your local First American representative to get started today. All right, now we're going to finish strong with the number one realtor in Southern California as far as production goes. She is the exclusive realtor for the San Diego Padres. Tani Vargas visited Melissa Goldstein Tucci out at her Point Loma listing. Let's go check out that part of town. Hi everyone, Tani Vargas here, and today we have an extra special treat for you today. I have San Diego's top producing real estate agent, and of course, the official San Diego Padres real estate agent, Melissa Tucci, and we are here in Point Loma at one of her incredible listings today. It has a finished basement, a working Otis elevator, and a wine cellar. What more could you ask for? Oh, and a tennis court. 
So let's see everything she has to talk about Point Loma, what's going on in the market, and this incredible listing. So I'm here with top producing realtor in San Diego, Melissa Tucci. Melissa, thanks for having me today. Yeah, thanks for coming here. So this view is undeniable. Tell everyone where we're at today. Okay, we are in Point Loma, at one of the most historical homes um, that was built in 1913 wow. by um, a historical architect, Walter Weber. Um, this property is almost 7,300 square feet and it is um, a palatial estate. Um, it's considered the Bridges Mansion. And as you could see, we're at the rooftop deck and it's 360 degree views. I mean, you have downtown, you have the Coronado Bridge, you have the water. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal. So I've been everywhere in San Diego, hands down the best view, which you just mentioned. So tell us a little bit from driving up the driveway and go from the bottom up. Sure, so this property is a five bedroom uh, plus a bonus room. So six bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms. It's 7,247 square feet. It has all all the charm of a century ago with modern updates. So tell me a little bit about some of the standout features of this house. Sure, so um, what's really beautiful is that new hardwood floors were installed. There's also recessed lighting, there's wainscoting, fireplaces, the kitchen has granite counters and a designer kitchen. Um, you have a nice huge tennis court, which is great on this property. It's almost an acre, <laughs> which is a huge property um, in Point Loma. And of course, phenomenal views from the rooftop deck and other rooms as well. So uh, besides all of those features, um, you have a great location. It's private. It's on a cul-de-sac and um, it's, you know, a showpiece of Point Loma. And this property just came on the market, listed at 2.85 million. And it really is a true gem of San Diego. And so speaking of San Diego, Point Loma in this view, um, tell me a little bit about something new that's happening in Point Loma. Um, what's what's so great about Point Loma, um, Liberty Station has really gotten a lot of great new restaurants in. Um, they just started also a public market, which is really wonderful for the community. And starting in June, um, they're also doing an art exhibit and a taste of those restaurants and areas. So it's just a really neat feature that's coming up. You're so close to downtown. You're so close yes. if you want to go to the water, to the ocean. I mean, you could go anywhere within five, 10 minutes. So so the location is so phenomenal and then you also have a piece of history being that this is you know over a hundred year old home and you're no stranger to downtown. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit of what it's like to be the San Diego Padres <laughs> realtor. Well, it's something that no one else has. So it's really nice that um, I'm involved with them. You know, I get to advertise. I'm on their Padres.com. I have signage in the stadium. But what's really great is that I could bring clients to games. Um, that's a really nice feature. Um, and also just I am a big fan of baseball as well. And it's just so nice because the Padres and Petco Park is just one of the nicest stadiums that we have. In, you know, the baseball industry. So it's just so great to be a part of it. So we just had opening day a few months ago. Were yes. you able to? And I was able. I was able to go there for that weekend. Not actually during opening day, but I. Um, I definitely was part of gathering all. You know the excitement <laughs> yeah. for it, and I gave one of my clients one the tickets for opening day. Um, but what was so great is that it was the first uh, weekend in history that it was completely sold out for the whole wow. opening day and weekend. So that just goes to show that you know we have a lot of supporters of the Padres, and then we've come together as a community, and it's just really exciting to be a part of that. And so not only are you the official San Diego Padres realtor, but you have a staggering number of awards as well. I know you're one of the nation's top producing real estate agents, but I read somewhere that you also have 50% of your clients are repeat clients and referrals. So, I mean, what an honor. Yeah, I mean, what's so nice is I stay in contact with my clients and I'm always here as a good resource and reference for them, whether they need help finding, you know, a good plumber or electrician, or if they just need a good gardener or just, you know, to, you know, say hello and if they need anything. And, um, you know, I'm here for life. I'm, I try to just always give, you know, good information and be there, you know, as a guidance as well as a real estate professional and broker. So it's really an honor always to get a referral. Um, if someone's looking for a realtor, what can you say the number one thing that you could give them? Um, I'm very hands-on and they would only deal with me. Um, and I'm available, you know, 24 seven via phone, text, email. Um, and I'm very personable and I care. I'm not monetary driven. I'm actually what people driven and what their needs are is my needs. And that's what really makes me, you know, different. And I have a very strong work ethic. Um, and so I feel like that separates me from the, my peers.
And not only are you an excellent businesswoman and real, real estate agent, but you also have a beautiful family as oh, well. Thank you. You have three daughters, is that right? I have I'm married with three daughters and an exciting event that I have coming up. Um, one of my daughters plays softball and she actually is gonna get to be the play ball kid at uh, a game coming up. So it kind of it's a neat th feature that coincides with the Padres and with, you know, family softball. So just another fun thing to tie into I mean, to I everything. I mean, I give her some tips. Yeah, I'll give her Maybe some good tips. she'll be the first woman baseball, a professional baseball player, right? Yeah, it's just like the show that's taped go. here in the, in, at Petco, actually, the pitch. So yeah, we'll see. Well, Melissa, it's been an honor and a pleasure to interview today at your showpiece at Point Loma. Thank you so much. And thanks again for coming. Absolutely. I can't wait to talk to you again. Me too. Thanks. Well, we just heard from San Diego top producing real estate agent and the official San Diego Padres real estate agent, Melissa Tucci. We learned about Liberty Station's public market, Petco Park and downtown and everything this gorgeous listing has to offer. We hope you enjoyed what we showed you today. Until then, my name is Tawny Vargas and I'll see you next time. certain times in life when you need a neutral third party to call the shots. Keep it fair. Choose Oakwood Escrow. As a real estate professional, there are only so many hours of the day, which means efficiency is more than a buzzword. It's a daily necessity. Two tools from First American Title can help you keep on top of your transactions, either at your desktop or on the go. MyFirstAM puts comprehensive property data at your fingertips, where you can review recorded documents, past transactions, or locate comparable sales quickly and easily. CostFirst can also ensure you have 24-7 access to closing cost data, allowing you to generate net sheets, calculate fees, update documents, or email, print, or save your reports, along with TRID calculation and consummation date timeframes. Each sale includes a number of stages to manage, each with the possibility to delay a closing or derail it altogether. Let Cost First and My First Dam keep your transactions on track. Contact your local First American representative to get started today. That's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed the exploration of America's finest city with some of the best in real estate. If you're looking to buy or sell in these markets, I would love to connect you with them. Visit us online. You can message me directly, but also make sure you follow us on social media. That's all for lifestyles, and we will see you next week.